Soul Sprouts, it's time for our theme. In our theme, I am learning about sea animals. I am learning about sea animals. I love learning about sea animals. They're so much fun. They love to swim in the ocean and have some fun. Do you like sea animals? Yes, I do. Me too. I love sea animals. Last time, we were learning the names of different sea animals. Today, we're also going to learn how to describe our different sea animals. But first, let's have a look at the sea animals we've been learning about. Hmm, what animals can you see? Here's our first animal. What animal is it? It's a sea turtle. It's a sea turtle. We have a sea turtle. A sea turtle loves to swim in the sea. It's a sea turtle. We have some more animals. We have this animal here. Do you remember what this animal is? What is it? It's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. This animal is a dolphin. It's a dolphin. Dolphins love to swim and they love to jump. It's a dolphin. I can see some more animals. I can see this one. What animal is it? What sea animal is it? It's a hippopotamus. No, it isn't. What is it? Oh, it's a fish. Oh, of course. Oh, Miss Chrissy, we know it's a fish. What is it? It's a fish. It's a fish. Well done, Little Sprouts. It's a fish. We have some more sea animals that we learned about last time. What animal is this one? What is it? It's a whale. It's a whale. Here is our whale swimming deep in the sea. It's a whale. It's a whale. We have some more sea animals to see. We have this animal. What is it? You're right. It's a shark. It's a shark. Here is a picture of a shark. What is it? It's a shark. It's a shark. And we have one more animal left to see. It has lots of different arms. Can you see which animal it is? Here it is. It's an octopus. It's an octopus. What animal is it? It's an octopus. It's an octopus. Oh, good job, Little Sprout. So we have all these different sea animals and they are all a little bit different. Just like us, we're a little bit different from all of our friends. Some of these sea animals are very different too. They all have different things. They are different colors. They are different sizes. They have different numbers of legs. Some don't have legs at all. Some have tails instead, and some have flippers and fins. Shall we see what our different sea animals have? They have eyes. Can you point to your eyes? What are they? They are eyes. They are eyes. Oh, good job, Little Sprouts. Our sea animals have their eyes too. They have their eyes on the sides of their heads usually. A sea turtle has eyes. It has two eyes. A dolphin has two eyes. Here they are. A shark has some eyes too. All of our sea animals use their eyes to see under the ground, under the water, but they use other things too. Some of them might use their legs and some might use their fins. Shall we see the different things that our sea animals have? Let's look at an octopus. An octopus has lots and lots of legs. Can you show me your octopus legs? Octopus, octopus. Wow, there are so many legs. Good job. An octopus has so many legs. Shall we count the legs on this octopus? Let's see. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, it has eight legs. How many legs does it have? It has eight legs. It has eight legs. So an octopus has eight legs. Wow, that's so many legs. How many legs do you have? Hmm, let's count them. I have one, two. I have two legs. How many legs does an octopus have? It has eight legs. An octopus has eight legs. Wow, that's so many legs. Shall we look at our other sea animals? How many legs do they have? Hmm, can you see any legs? 
An octopus has some legs. Does a fish have legs? No, it doesn't. A whale looks like it has legs, but they are flippers. They are flippers. Flippers help sea animals swim. A shark has flippers too. It doesn't have legs. It has flippers to help it swim. It can swim in the water with its flippers. A dolphin has flippers too. It has two flippers to swim in the water. And what about a sea turtle? A sea turtle can walk on the beach with its flippers, but they are not legs. They are flippers. They are flippers. It has four flippers, so it can swim in the water and it can walk on the sand too. So they have some flippers. Some of our sea animals also have tails. They have a tail. A dolphin has a tail. Here is a dolphin's tail. It has a tail. A tail helps our animals swim. It has a tail. A whale also has a tail. It has a tail. Its tail helps it swim. A shark has a tail. Its tail can help it swim. What about an octopus? Does it have a tail? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have a tail. How about a fish? Does a fish have a tail? Yes, it does. At the back here, it has a tail and it also has some fins that help it swim too. A fish has fins that help it swim and it has a tail. A dolphin has a fin. This helps it swim and go through the water. It's a fin. It's a fin. And a shark has a fin too. This helps a shark swim in the water. It's a fin. It's a fin. Do you have a fin to help you swim in the water? Mm, no, I don't. I don't have a fin, but some of our sea animals do. They have fins. They have tails. They have lots of different legs and they have flippers all to help them swim in the water. Wow, our sea animals can be so different. I wonder what else can be different about our sea animals. I know, sea animals can be different with their size. Sea animals can be different sizes. They are all different sizes. Some sea animals are very big and some sea animals are very small. Shall we look and see, is this sea animal big or is it small? Some sea animals are bigger than other sea animals. Some sea animals can be smaller than others. Let's have a look. Hmm, is a fish big or small? Here is my fish. Is it big or small? It's small. You're right, a fish is small. A fish is small. A fish is small. Is it big or small? It's small. Here's our small fish. Some animals can start to get a little bit bigger, but they can still be a bit small. Let's look at a sea turtle. Here is a sea turtle. Is it big or small? It's small. It's small. Which one is bigger, a fish or a sea turtle? A sea turtle is bigger. The sea turtle is bigger. So we've got, but they're still both quite small. We have a fish and a sea turtle. We have some more sea animals next. Let's look at these two. We have a dolphin and we have a shark. Which one is smaller? That's right, a dolphin is smaller. Which one is bigger? A shark is bigger. That's right, the dolphin is smaller than the shark. The dolphin is a bit bigger than a fish, but it's smaller than a shark. Another big animal in the sea is an octopus. Is an octopus big or small? 
It's big. An octopus is big. It's big. They have lots of arms and legs. They have eight legs. An octopus has eight legs, and it's very big. And there's one more sea animal, which is bigger than everything else. What animal is it? It's a whale. It's a whale. Is a whale big or small? It's big. It's big. Wow! Let's look at the whale next to all of our different sea animals. It's bigger than the other animals. A whale is so big. Wow! So sea animals can be different sizes too. Some sea animals are small, and some sea animals are big. But did you know sea animals can come in different colors too? Shall we have a look at the different colors? Let's see. A whale can be different colors, but sometimes a whale is blue. So what color is it? It's blue. It's blue. Some whales can be blue, and some whales can be black. We have a blue whale here, and we have a whale that is black over here. It is black. And it is blue. Whales can be blue, and they can be black. How about an octopus? An octopus can be lots of different colours too. This octopus is a little bit purple and a little bit brown. This octopus is red. What colour is it? It's red. It's red. So we have some that are red. Some that are brown and some that are purple. We have different colours of octopuses. We have some other sea animals. What colour is a shark? A shark can be blue and it can be a little bit grey, but we can say it's blue. It's blue. They can be a little bit grey and a little bit blue. They can be lots of different colours, just like a dolphin. What colour is it? Hmm. It's similar to a shark. It's a little bit grey and it's a little bit blue, so we can say it's blue. It's grey. It has some different colours. Our sea animals can have lots of different colours. Here is our sea turtle. What colours can you see? I can see brown and yellow. In this picture, I can see green. So our sea turtles can be different colours too. What colour is it? It's green, it's green, and then we have our fish. This fish has some yellow and it has some white. This fish is yellow and orange and black and white. But did you know, fish can come in lots of different colours. Do you want to see the different colours of our fish? Yes, I do. Okay, that's wonderful. Let's have a look at the different colours of our fish. What colours can you see? Are you ready? Let's see what colours we can see of our fish. Wow! Have a look at our fish. There are so many different colours. Some fish are green. Some fish are orange. Some are pink, and some have lots of different colours. Can you see all of the bright colours on this fish? There are so many colours, and on this fish too. It is very colourful. There are so many colours. What colours can you see? Are you ready? Let's touch some fish. So, can you get ready with your hands? Let's touch some fish. Are you ready? Can you touch the yellow fish? Where is it? Here it is. What is it? It's a yellow fish. It's a yellow fish. Oh, good job, little sprouts. Okay, let's put our hands up and let's try another one. Can you touch the pink fish? Let's touch the pink fish. Oh, this one looks pink. Here it is. What is it? It's a pink fish. It's a pink fish. Good job. It's a pink fish. Let's try another one. Can you touch the purple fish? Can you see the purple fish? Hmm. Where is the purple fish? Here it is. Let's touch the purple fish. What colour is it? It's purple. What is it? It's a purple fish. It's a purple fish. Oh, good job, little sprouts. Let's keep trying. Can you see a red fish? Where is the red fish? Is it this one? 
Mm, no, it isn't. Here it is. Did you find it? Oh, that's great. Good job. What is it? It's a red fish. It's a red fish. Good job. Wow, there are so many different colors. Let's try one more. Can you find the blue fish? Where is the blue fish? Oh, I almost didn't see it. It was the same color as the sea. Here it is. What is it? It's a blue fish. It's a blue fish. Here is our blue fish. Oh, wow. What fish do you like? What color fish do you like? Maybe you can tell your teacher. So, I like the green fish. I like the green fish. What color fish do you like? There are so many different colors to choose from. Fish can be different colors. They can be so colorful. All of our sea animals have lots of different colors. Oh, it's been so much fun seeing all of the different things our sea animals have. I wonder if we can build our own sea animals. Let's try. Oh, well done, Little Sprouts. That's been so much fun looking at all the different things our sea animals have. Let's try and build up our own sea animals. So today we have a dolphin and we have an octopus. Let's see if we can build our different body parts. First, I'm going to use the blue Play-Doh for my dolphin. If you don't have Play-Doh, that's okay. You can use some tissues or you can use a crayon to draw it. I'm going to start by looking at my dolphin. What does a dolphin have? It has a tail. It has a fin. And it has some flippers too. So first I'm going to start with the tail. I'm going to take some Play-Doh and I'm going to roll it in my crayon hands. So this is the hand I use for my crayon. So I'm going to use my crayon hand to roll it. And then I can make two parts here, like a tail. And then let's press it down onto the dolphin. So there's my tail. Next, let's use a small piece for my fin. I want to make a fin. So I'm going to use my fingertips and roll the Play-Doh or you can roll up some tissue. And I'm going to go and press, press, press. Oh, well done. So now we have our fin and we have the tail. Let's make the rest of the body. So I'm going to roll up the Play-Doh and let's see if I can build up the shape so we can just press it down so that we have the shape of a dolphin. I'll give it a nice nose as well. And here are its flippers too. We can press it down. And there's my dolphin. It has its body, it has a tail, and it has a fin. Oh, that's great. So we built up our dolphin. Next, let's have a look at the octopus. I'm going to use some red Play-Doh this time. You can use a crayon, you can use some tissue, or be creative, see what you can find. I'm going to build up my octopus. It has a head and it has some legs. Should we count the legs? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are our legs. So I'm going to take some of the Play-Doh for my head and I'll just save it here for now. And let's get eight pieces of Play-Doh. So let's cut this in half and then half again and once more so that we can get eight pieces of Play-Doh. We want a piece of Play-Doh for each leg. Let's count. Do I have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that eight? No, no, it isn't. Let's keep trying. We'll get two more pieces. Let's count. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, great. So now I have eight legs. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to roll my Play-Doh into long lines. Our legs are very long, so we can get some long legs for the octopus. We'll take each piece of Play-Doh and roll it up so that we can have some legs. So we'll roll it and roll it in the palms of our hands to get our muscles nice and strong. And roll it and roll it and roll it. Keep rolling the Play-Doh. Keep rolling and rolling and rolling. And then we can put it on the legs and we'll keep rolling and rolling and rolling. Oh, and I've got two more legs left, so we'll keep going. There's lots of legs on an octopus. It has so many legs. It has eight legs. And then here's our, oh, whoops, Daisy, here's our last one. We'll roll that one up. And there we go. So now we have our eight legs 
and then let's make the head. So we'll roll up the Play-Doh, roll up your tissues, or get your crayons ready to make a big circle. And then we can press, press, press down so we've got a nice flat circle. And there's my octopus head. So we did it. We made an octopus with Play-Doh and we made a dolphin too. Those look wonderful. Our little sprouts, it's been so much fun today. We learned all about the different things our sea animals have. We remembered the names of our sea animals and we saw how big and small our sea animals are. We saw the different colors of our sea animals and we saw how some have lots of legs, some have fins, and some have tails. I've had so much fun today. Thank you, Little Sprouts. Today, in our theme, I am learning about sea animals. Let's say it one last time. I am learning about sea animals. Good job today, Little Sprouts. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.